We're now going to move on to uh, one of our newer segments here on the show. Of course, it is our Mint Mobile hotline question of the day. You guys are used to writing in questions, but you now you can have your voice on the question by using our Mint Mobile hotline. And our Mint Mo Mobile hotline number is 951 268 Four two five nine. You can call that number anytime. Leave your voicemail, and maybe you might hear it here on the show. So, what is our Mint Mobile hotline question today? Hey, John. Uh, my name is Nathan Diggs. I'm calling from Baltimore, Maryland. My question is: A lot of times when you quote your sources, you never quote places like Yahoo.com. So I don't know what I'm about to say is credible or not, but I just read a report that said Marvel has hired John Boyega, Denzel Washington, John Krasinski, and a couple other people. Is any truth to this? All right. Thanks a lot for, for calling in. So instead of addressing the things in there, any truth to that one particular report, because there are, have been over the past three or four months, a million reports of this person's in this and this person that. And of course, five of those reports for the same role. So it can't possibly, you know, by automatic, four of them are wrong. So we're not really going to address that. But you asked about the fact that Yahoo is reporting this. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about this for a second. Now, uh, first of all, we do quote Yahoo News and Yahoo Entertainment News every once in a while on here. As a matter of fact, we do. Um, but here's the thing. This is the interesting thing about that particular report that is on Yahoo right now. See, somebody like yourself, understandably, will see that on Yahoo, they run this story that says uh, Krasinski, this person, that person, Denzel, the, the, and you think, oh, Yahoo is reporting that this is this. When actuality, Yahoo is not reporting it. We talk about this all the time with, uh, with our uh, viewers is that Follow the source. Where does the story really come from? Quite often people write into me and say, John, 18 different outlets are reporting this. And if you once you start looking, you realize, no, 18 outlets are not reporting it. One outlet is, and the other 17 outlets are just quoting that one outlet that's reporting it. In the, this particular case, and this happens quite often, Yahoo is doing a story that is coming from something called the Cosmic Circus. And, you know, the Cosmic Circus is a site that I, I think has about 5,000 uh, followers on Twitter or, or something like that. It, it's a small outlet. doesn't mean it's not a great outlet. I'm just saying it's a very, very small outlet. To put it in perspective, like, I'm a Joe effing nobody from Nobody Town, and I have about 100,000 followers on Twitter, and I'm nobody. And so this one has about 7,000 followers, 6,000 followers, 5,000, whatever. It's a small outlet. So... Fine, small. Doesn't mean bad, just means small. Yahoo is not reporting that those people have been cast. Yahoo simply saw that Cosmic Circus reported that, and they did a story about it. And that's what happens a lot in our online movie entertainment sphere, is that a lot of times, you know, some, you know, uh, Gus's movie reviews dot fart website <laughs> will, will write a story, right? They're so and good. then screen, let, let's say uh, Pauly Shore is going to star in Fantastic Four. Let's say Gus's movie reviews dot fart. Yeah, buddy. Writes Pauly says, yeah, buddy. So they, they write on their website that. So then what happens is Screen Rant says that and says, well, we don't actually believe that true. But Screen Rant will write, uh, Pauly Shore is going to be appearing in the law. And then they, if, once you read the, the screen, this is where it's important for us as fans. Once you read through the article at some point, if you're a half decent outlet like Screen Rant, they will say where they heard this from. It'll say like, according to Gus's movie reviews dot fart, blah, blah, blah. So really it isn't Screen Rant that is reporting that Pauly Shore is going to be in Fantastic Four. It's Gus's movie reviews dot fart that's reporting it. And Screen Rant is just repeating it. And there's nothing wrong with Screen Rant repeating it. I'm just saying that's what often happens. And then movie web sees that same story and then they write it. And then, Joe Blow sees that same story and then they write. And then now all of a sudden you're a film fan and you're like, oh my gosh, all these sites that I'm reading are reporting that Pauly Shore is in Fantastic Four. Well, since Screen Rant and Movie Web and Joe Blow are all reporting it, that must mean it's true. When in reality is they're not reporting it. 
Gus's movie reviews dot fart reported it and they're just repeating what they heard. It was a mistake. It was actually fantastic. Sure, it's a documentary about <laughs> Paul. Oh, oh, that actually oh it was all broken telephone. I yeah. would watch the hello. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Fantastic Shore, the Polly Shore story. Oh, I would man. watch that right after the Weird Al story. Well, um, so I mean, then that's <laughs> what happened here with the Yahoo story. It's not that Yahoo isn't a reliable source, it's that Yahoo isn't the source. Uh, another place is. And so now you don't, you're not asking the question is, is Yahoo a reliable place to get information? You're asking the question is, is this place that they got it from reliable source of information? And, and, and I'm not super familiar with this particular Elliot. They might be fantastic. So that's up for you to figure out and decide if they are. But I just thought uh, your question raised a really great thing. Now, as far as whether it's Denzel and Krasinski are in there, I, listen, we're going to find out in 72 hours. 72 hours from now, I'm going to be sitting in the Anaheim Convention Center in Hall D, the big D, and I'm going to be listening and watching a presentation of them revealing everything they are. The big D will reveal all. That's a good philosophy for life. You know, so, the no. funny thing about having a Canadian on this show is they say funny things <laughs> that don't mean what he thinks they mean, like the big D or Yahoo, as the chat is pointing out. Is that a Canadian pronunciation of Yahoo? Well, the commercials pronounce it Yahoo. Yahoo. That's right, the way they say in their commercials. Sorry. Is that I'm, how you I'm just Texans poking a little it? fun at your at your at your quaint little Canadian accent. <laughs> it's the way we Canadians Yahoo. speak. Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much. So yeah. So uh, anyway, there. I, I just thought it was an interesting opportunity to kind of throw that. So remember, as you are educated film fans and you're getting stories, when you see an interesting story or headline, read a little bit down into it and see if that outlet you're reading is actually the one who are making these claims and making the, and breaking that story, or. Are they simply repeating what came from another source? Because if it's a good outlet, they will mention where they got it from. And if it's all just coming from the same place, well, it still may be true. It's just that it's not as credible as saying 14 different outlets are all saying they all have sources to say this, right? So that's a little bit of a difference. Anyway, super glad that you called that in, man. It was really timely for this. And uh, let's see what happens when they make the announcements at D23 on Saturday. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Ryan Reynolds, and specifically his delightful company, Mint Mobile. So look, after years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just $15 a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't a catch. And guys, this is no joke. I have been using Mint Mobile for months now. And on top of the fact that I'm spending literally about one third every month of what I was spending on my former major carrier, I have discovered no decline in my service. I kept my phone number and I was able to keep my phone. The switch from my old service to Mint Mobile couldn't have been easier and saved me more money. And the best part for anybody who just hates their phone bills is that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia